Hey boo, there's no way I can soften this. Might even shock you or piss you off. And it's something that shocked me way back when I first understood that in consciousness, in manifesting in your divine imagination, there's no such thing as being spiritual, as even that thing called spirituality, because in the state that you have surrendered to, the ideal state that you have chosen, everything becomes spiritualized. There's nothing separate from it. There's nothing separate between you being you and understanding that you are the operant power. Let that really steep for a minute. Let it land. It's very different. And sometimes even our reasons for wanting to become more spiritual have more to do with appearances. The famous singer, Leonard Cohen, who wrote that song, the classic song, Suzanne, he once said he wanted to be a Buddhist minister. And then he realized that his only motivation, his true motivation for it was because he thought how cool he would look wearing the robes of the being a Buddhist minister. And it really shows the fine line when you wake up to the fact that there's no need to want the appearance of spirituality or the appearance or becoming more, having more humility. Instead of cultivating yourself as the operant power of moving in your state, we kind of slide over and start coming from a whole different set of values. But really, there's no difference. Otherwise, it becomes a spiritual versus non-spiritual. It's more polarizing. It becomes a dichotomy. It becomes duality. It becomes separate. But there is only beingness. And be the behavior or the being and having of your state of consciousness, of knowing you are the operant power and that your awareness of being is God. So you don't have to cultivate being more spiritual like it's a, a cash crop. And that let, that becomes starts feeding in on itself as a kind of spiritual superiority. And I fell victim to that when I was first on the path in the early 90s, that little sense of, oh, look how spiritual I'm getting. But it really, it really falls away when you merge in consciousness, in your state, when you're allowing your ideal state to lead, then it things can't help but become at that higher, that level um, of knowing that you are an expression of God. God and my Father are one, and the Father is greater than I. That you are a facet of the diamond that is your divine imagination. That you radiate that perfection and beauty in uplifting and imagining lovingly for yourself and for others. Yes, it's in air quotes. Because in non-dualism, which Neville Goddard taught, and which today is sometimes known as Neo-Advaita, Advaita, based on the Advaita of Hinduism, but whichever way you decide to come at it from, there really is only the one, which is why Neville said everyone you see is a messenger reflecting you. 
E-I-Y-P-O, everyone is you pushed out, either as a mirror or even as a trigger, but I wanna use trigger more in the term really to say a catalyst that can motivate you, that can kickstart you into seeing yourself in another light. And maybe it's an area of conflict in yourself that's being reflected in the way others treat you, in, in experiences that you're having when you're on the bridge of incidents, moving, connecting with your desire. So it's, we say, seeming others. And it's, it's what Advaita calls one, the one, without a second. And what does second mean? Is it like the second hand we used to have on a clock? Is it the second in terms of time? No, it just means that there is nothing secondary. There is nothing secondary. There's no secondary cause. There's no external cause to anything. There's nothing else to treat as what my mentor sometimes calls a false Jesus or to put faith in outside of yourself, expecting it to do something for you or expecting this secondary thing to change you in some way. But the only way you can see it is as another form of everything is you pushed out simply reflecting you or triggering you to change. So it's all like the beautiful facets of a diamond that is your true divine nature that dwells within you as what appears as you. Love you, boo. See you next time.